We will now listen to Camilla Marin, who is from Sotiaia International. First of all, thank you very much for having all this event together and, as Eric said, bringing together so many NGOs. We have the power to make our voice heard. And it is with hope that we are here today celebrating the Universal Declaration of Human Rights' 70th birthday in a collective commitment, not as governments, but as civil society, as humans standing for the humane. In Soteria International, we engage ourselves in the freedom of thought, conscience, and belief. Last Saturday, we hosted an international conference in Copenhagen on a similar theme as we have here today. It seems that at the Universal Declaration of Human Rights' 70th birthday, we are still at a crisis of society. It is so many, in so many different ways, people are protesting in a healthy or unhealthy way. Civil society commitment and human rights activism is not first of all about protesting against how some countries respect the human rights or not, but how to include human rights at the very core of our society. The breaches exist and the cultures allow them to happen. Many times religions themselves are champions of suppressing religious freedom. The civil society commitment must strive to a cultural upgrade. Governments administrate cultural values, but they do not create them. It is the cultural values that live inside us, influence our consciousness, and impart our decisions. We live in cultures that allow breaches of human rights because we, as humans, do not properly understand or integrate the human rights into what it is humane. Just as mentioned in the preamble of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, the focus on human rights activism must be education to upgrade our society into internalizing and embody the human rights. Civil society should shoulder this change of paradigm in working with human rights from fighting, from fighting governments for maximizing different freedoms, such as freedom of speech, into cultivating a humane society where human rights are internalized so that people will stop harming each other in their free speech. Human rights activists should be experts and teachers of what it means to be human, then human rights would be the backbone of society, affirming the inherent dignity and the equal rights of all members of the human family, the foundation of freedom, justice, and peace in the world. Let us zoom out and see the whole picture. How does new technology influence our lives? Does it globally serve human values or financial values? If the later, how could we get there? If the human rights are not directed, directing the development of our lives, it means that they are not enough operational. In any system, what is not practical in time is decaying. Human rights risk the same fate if, if it does not become operational at, the, at a direct human level. What has a practical value will live and grow. What does not have a practical value will die. Often, we will find ourselves complaining that the human rights are not given enough attention by humans or si human systems, but do they, practical, do they have practical value for human lives? Only then will it be taken into consideration and from there can it blossom free and natural. As always pointed out, education is the key but not education in the human rights as such, but should be education and research in de developing the human position in its environment to discover the human values. Ecology matters because it refers to a whole, and that is why people today are obsessed by it. 
70 years ago, no one cared about the environmental policy. Only when we discovered that the lack of understanding and respect for the nature's law and principles had a negative impact on our lives, ecology has become an issue, and both politicians and society individuals acknowledge it. Today, we face a similar crisis of inner ecology. We need to understand and respect the inner principles of being human at the individual, society, and cultural level. As different inhumane behavior is increasingly subversive to the human dignity and rights, could we not imagine a similar rise of awareness in the human rights, making it operational within our cultures? What are human values and virtues? Understanding the acute need to internalize these aspects will bring the human rights alive. To stand for our human rights should be an inner rioting against letting injustices pass unnoticed inside us, letting learning to act to mend it in and between us. Protesting by burning cars, it is the protest of the past. Being a true human rights activist is the way of the future. Thank you very much.